Hi, I'm Robert Burns with Gravograph. Today I'd like to show you how easy it is to make an ADA sign using a, an IS-900 with the Auto Raster system. Laying out an ADA compliant sign with Gravistyle is quick and easy. All I need to do is give it a width of the sign I would like to make. So this sign is 7.875 by 3.875. I'm going to, uh, well, it's 3.75, uh, 8.75. There you go. Uh, I'm going to tell it that I want all my margins to be uh, uh, 5 eighths of an inch. That makes the sign compliant. You can't, uh, 1.625. Can't engrave or the edge of the sign or the letter on the sign can't be any closer to the edge than 5 eighths of an inch. And you hit uh, check. Here I am. I'm going to uh, give it a, a letter height. Now the minimal letter height in ADA, to be ADA compliant, is 5 8 point, uh, six two five. And I'm going to tell it that I, what's nice now is I can use any true type font that is compliant. Um, I'm going to pick, uh, I always like to use uh, Arial Black, and I'm going to type in Storeroom. Okay, now I need to convert that to grade 2 Braille, so all I do is highlight it. I go into my professional tools and click my Braille wizard. It'll ask me if, if I want to keep the original text or not, and I do. It's going to create another tool path for my Braille, and I'm going to hit check, and here you go. So when I go to engrave it, all I do is go up to... Um, my machining icon. I go to tool pass select and what I do is I always send over uh, my raised letter first. If this was a uh, a whole matrix of plates I could send them all the raised letters at one time and then send all the braille at one time. Once it finishes I go back and I send over the uh, the braille. And uh, It'll automatically tell me how fast it needs to go, uh, how quick the uh, cutter needs to raise and fall. Uh, if there's any doubt as to what you're doing, you can also hit preview at any time and see what's being sent to the machine. I'm going to, uh, there's my dot pattern. And that's, uh, that's about it. Once you've laid out your sign, you need to assemble your uh, the sign itself. Use two pieces of Gravitac. Uh, the back piece doesn't have to be Gravitac, but the raised letter really should be. Uh, today's sign is going to be um, black and white. The cap sheet here needs to be 1 32nd of an inch thick to meet compliance. I'm just going to, it has a time release adhesive on the back. Peel away the back and stick it to the, uh, to the surface. I'm going to engrave through it and that will give me my raised letters. I'm using Gravitac on the table so that I don't have to use any kind of a clamping system and I just uh, stick it down. First off I send over the, uh, the raised letter itself to the storeroom. I have a uh, stencil cutter that's going all the way through. I set it at uh, about 40 thousand feet, so if you go through the 30 second inch cap sheet and about go anywhere from 4 to 8 thousand into the core, into the white here. That cuts all the way through the adhesive so that uh, I get a, uh, a ribbon cut. Got real firm contact with the depth nose on the surface so that it presses down and really seals the letters to the, um, to the core. Next, I weed away the background, and I would switch out my cutter. I would put the one designed with the uh, right tip size for drilling the holes for the braille beads, 
and uh, send over my next uh, my next layer or send over the braille. Now it's engraving the holes for the beads. It just takes a second. And then once it finishes, it prompts me on my controller to drop my auto raster pin. And uh, you just hit check. I was going to say a whole lot more fun than using the hand method to insert each and every bread, uh, beat. Next, I would weed away the centers and have a nice looking sign without a whole lot of uh, problem. What you really want to do with these multiple signs. By using the matrix function or feature in the software, I can go ahead and set up oh, several signs at one time and give it, uh, each sign could say something different and it would do right here, how simple it would be to set up four at one time. This table size being 17 by 25 and a half, uh, depending on the size that you want to make, we'll do a, a bunch of signs. That's how you get in.